Hi, I'm Cleo Pollinger, originally from the Bay Area. This summer, I had the incredible opportunity to spend 10 weeks in Nairobi, Kenya, working as a research and advisory intern at Busara Center for Behavioral Economics. As a rising senior at Loyola Marymount University, I'm double majoring in information systems and business analytics and economics. My academic journey spans both CBA and BCLA, and I've been eager to blend and apply the skills that I've learned in the classroom to the workforce. This internship was perfect for me as it allowed me to combine these skills in a new cultural context. I spent most of my breaks at LMU participating in service immersion programs across the globe through campus ministry as well as CSA. I was particularly interested in having an internship abroad to hone my cultural competence as well as grow professionally. I found this opportunity through one of my economics professors, Dr. Jane, who conducts research in Nairobi through Busara. She helped facilitate the connection between me and Busara and with the support of CBA's Center for International Business Education, I was able to come to Nairobi, Kenya. I started my role on May 27, 2024 and worked until August 2, 2024 as a full-time full hybrid research and advisory intern. My key roles and responsibilities included support, supporting research design and development, implementing qualitative and quantitative behavioral research, developing and piloting instruments, managing large-scale field and lab projects with assistance, organizing and cleaning data, supporting the dissemination of results, and engaging in internal projects. At Bizarra, we take a human-centered approach to research, which means we incorporate people's lives into our research design to improve their lives rather than trying to force them to behave in a certain way. One of the first projects I worked on involved the local children here in Kenya and we were wanting to research their literacy rates. We were looking to see if the implementation of a certain product would increase their literacy rates and retention um, with their reading comprehension in the long run. So yeah, I helped put together a report that was needed to be approved to make sure that our research design was ethical and safe for participants, um, both the children as well as the parental figures who were also involved with the research study. But that's just one project. I was also able to work on projects that involved women entrepreneurs from India as well as child childhood development programs for children with different needs in Cambodia. So through this, <laughs> I was able to also produce a case study that was about childhood education content in Nairobi and to see whether or not the implementation of watching these videos would help increase their educational career or help them um, better with <laughs> childhood retention or education educational retention of content um, so yeah one of the highlights of my internship was the diversity in the workplace. We had a cohort of 12 interns from universities across the U.S., but I was the only American intern. All the other interns were international students, so I was able to talk to locals as well as talk to international students about living abroad, uh, cultural norms, and life in the U.S. Our conversations were enriching and I love hearing about different life experiences while collaborating on projects. Working at Busara has been one of the most diverse experiences I've ever had and it's something that I value greatly in my professional journey. 
I gained invaluable social and emotional intelligence from working at Bizarra, and I hope to carry these insights into my future career. Each person I've interacted with has brought something unique to the table. Bizarra truly emphasizes the value of everyone's unique perspective and knowledge, allowing us to capitalize on each other's strengths as we work together to better understand and represent behaviors of the global South. Thank you.